Hi, I'm Allison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. And I have so many tips and tricks that I want to share with you. Um, and I'm always coming up with some new tips and new tricks that I can share with you and I'm always experimenting and practicing and trying out different things and if you have any tips or tricks that you use in your acrylic paintings why don't you leave a link, uh, leave a comment below and then we can uh, share them together and I can even probably mention your name if you have a really good uh, tip for us all and um, so in this video I'm going to show you some really great tips that you're going to love this is going to be a fun video today so Hi, I'm Alison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for beginners and all levels. And today I want to give you a great tip. I think this will really, really help you with your paintings and, and how to get them on your canvas. So today I have a tip for you so that you can lay out your composition on your canvas from a photograph that you probably took yourself. And what you can do is you can take your photograph and you print it off. Now you can print it off any size it doesn't make any difference but what you're going to do is you're going to get all the composition on your canvas a very simple way so let me show you how so take this painting for example pretend that that is a photograph I don't have any photographs here right now that I can show you but you, I don't need a photograph I have this is my uh, this could be a photograph okay so pretend that's a photograph so what you do is you're going to make a grid from your photograph before you put it on your canvas. So you're going to take your chalk, take some chalk so you can see it and pretend this is a picture and then you're going to take your picture and you're going to make a line down the center. Okay? So you make a line down the center. See that? That's now your two halves. Now you can take your line and take it across. You can use a ruler to do it if you want to make a nice straight line. I'm just going to take my chalk and I'm going to go across. And you could use, you can actually use the horizon line for your line going across and that way you'll be able to divide it now up into four. Four pictures. See that? So now when you go to paint it on your canvas then you'll know where to put your composition. So it'll be much easier for you to be able to decide what way you want to layer your composition. If you like the composition as it is, that'd be great because then you can start painting in squares. And how do you do that? Well, all you have to do is you take your blank canvas, okay, and then you also make your square again. A line down here and a line over here. Now. So now all you have to do is when you start painting, is you can start painting in that part of your painting first if you want, and then you put in this part of your painting, and then you can put in the different parts of your painting. It'll make it so much easier. But what you can also do to make it so much easier is you can look at look at this painting here where you have the squares, okay? And in this square you have trees, right? So you can draw it in first if you like, right? You can draw it in, it'd be so much easier. Then you can draw in your trees, and you're like that, and then you can, you can do all the squares, okay? And up here you have that tree, so you got a tree coming out through here, and you got a tree coming out through here. And you can see. And then on the bottom part, now you have your reflections comes down to about here. You have some land that comes to here and then you have some more land that comes up here like this. See how easy it is? You don't have to think about it. And then you have your boat right here and you draw out your boat. And away to go. And now your composition is drawn for you. And all you have to do now is start painting. I think this, you know, is so easy. You can do it with any, any of your pictures. Take a picture. It can be an eight and a half by eleven. It can be whatever size it is. It doesn't matter because it will show you where everything goes. Now, if you want to, you can make smaller squares. If you want to make smaller squares, you just add another line over here, 
depends on how you, you want to break it up, but I find the four big squares are better. Right, so you can make more lines and then you can draw in the whatever's in those squares, see? So if you got your drawing, you got it here, and then you add your lines here, same as that one up there, then you will, oh, I got the wrong chalk. Okay, so, because you couldn't see that. So there we go, that's better. So then you put in those other lines. Now I don't mind doing this to my canvas because chalk wipes off fairly easily. So now you got your, you got your trees here, you got your trees here, you got your trees here. So if it makes it easier for you, then you can add more lines, more squares, I should say, okay? Add more squares to make it easier to get that part of the boat instead of the whole boat or that piece of land instead of, you know, the bigger piece of land. So it's pretty good that way. It helps you be able to put your composition in squares. It's a grid. You use grids for drawing. You, you can use a grid for, for painting because what you're doing is you're drawing on your pit parts of your picture on your canvas so you know where everything goes. So I think that uh, will help you. I'm just trying to give you tips and tricks to help you be able to paint better and become a much better artist. So I hope you enjoyed that tip today and I'm going to be adding a lot more tips to my channel for you um, whether they're individual or whether I have a bunch together I have videos on uh, some amazing hacks that you can use with your different tools that you can use even from your kitchen right you know so I have 20 of those but I have lots more so every some new ones I will add them to my YouTube channel for you and there'll be lots of tips and tricks to help you understand what you can do when you're painting and when you're drawing also because I also have drawing lessons so keep an eye out for all that and uh, when you see my tips and if they help you let me know in the comment section and also let me know what else that you're hoping to accomplish in your paintings and what other tips you think that I might be able to give you and if you have any tips yourself put them in the comment section that'd be fantastic so thank you everybody for watching and uh, don't forget to drop a like there and uh, and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video bye